Coming up are the local stories for the day. Tropical condition in the Arabian Sea develops into a deep tropical depression. The tropical condition in the southeast of the Arabian Sea has developed into a deep tropical depression. The wind speed around the center is estimated at 28 to 33 knots, with its movement continuing to west or northwest towards the center of the Arabian Sea. There will be no direct impact on the atmosphere of the Sultanate during the next 72 hours, the Oman Meteorology said in a statement. This statement added that the height of sea waves is expected to reach 3 to 4 meters with water extending along the low-lying coastal areas of the Sultan of Oman, overlooking the Arabian Sea in the coming days. Hello and welcome. More than 200,000 meals distributed among needy in a unique charity campaign in Oman. More than 200,000 meals were distributed among needy families in the Sultan of Oman by a musket-based charity association, Nida Al Khair, in association with Pratevati Oman, a global consulting firm. Reaching out to the needy families by providing them meals is one of the noblest causes and Nida Al Khair is an Oman-based organization that promotes charitable work in all humanitarian aspects. Protivity had signed a memorandum of understanding with Nida Al Khair and they completed by December 10 distributing meals among the underprivileged families that are affected by challenging times. A total of 170 boxes along with bags of flour and rice were provided to 170 families and a total of 1,020 individuals were benefited that was equivalent to more than 200,000 meals. As part of the Protivity CSR initiatives, Eye on Hunger, the project aims to distribute millions of meals around the world to help alleviate hunger. Circle just landed in Oman. Now you can enjoy your life in Oman and save through unlimited buy two for the price of one offers and discounts starting 20% onwards and finally track your savings at more than 1,000 leading vendors covering all your needs all over Oman. Download Circle Oman mobile application, subscribe and try one month for free. Insert your credentials through your preferred payment gateway and don't worry, you won't be charged during the free trial plus you can opt out at any time. Upgrade your lifestyle with Circle Oman. We play, you listen. You talk, we listen. You got something to say, we, we want to hear it. 95.4 in Musket. And 91 in Salala. Music, news, views, and everything in between. TFM. TFM. Let's talk. And now for the international news. Jay Shankar discusses India's G20 presidency with UN chief. India's External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar met UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Wednesday and exchanged views on working together during India's G20 presidency. Jay Shankar, in a Twitter post, said that he valued the UN chief's insights on UNSC reform and the Ukraine conflict. The External Affairs Minister landed in the US on Tuesday for a two day visit to preside over two high level ministerial signature events of India's ongoing presidency of the UN Security Council on December 14th and 15th. Jay Shankar on Wednesday chaired the high-level ministerial open debate on December 14 on the theme of new orientation for reform multilateralism. On the sidelines, Jay Shankar also met Armenia's Foreign Minister Ararat Mirzoyan, UAE Minister of Culture and Youth Noura Al-Kabi and Poland's Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs Wojciech Gerwal. The External Affairs Minister also unveiled Mahatma Gandhi's bust at the premises of the UN headquarters. The bust, a gift from India to the United Nations, is the first Gandhi sculpture that was installed at the UN headquarters. The high-level briefing on December 15th is on global approach to counter-terrorism, challenges and way forward. Both these themes have been key priorities for India during its current tenure at the UN Security Council. And now for the sports news. Argentina will be really hard in the World Cup final, says French keeper Loris. France goalkeeper and captain Hugo Loris said he expected a difficult World Cup final when his side takes on Argentina on Sunday. While Lionel Messi is looking to lift his first World Cup, France are looking to retain the title they won in 2018 in what promises to be a tough game for both sides. Argentina are a really great team. They have shown how competitive they are and they have this player Messi who has left his mark on the sport, said Lloris after Wednesday's 2 for 0 semi-final win over Morocco. There is everything in place for it to be a great game but we will try to turn things our way, he said. The keeper reflected on a tough semi-final in which France were forced to defend for long periods after Theo Hernandez's fifth-minute opener and were even deep in their box after Colo Moani netted a second goal in the 79th minute. Meanwhile, midfielder Yusuf Ofana admitted it had not been easy to replace Adrian Rebeard in the side after Rebeard came down with the virus. You've just heard the live feed from the TTV studios on TFM.
95.4. Let's talk.